the what we see, what we think, we thinking that we like something, but it's controlled. Mm. Even the people that we like, like they're like, okay, so you first you get the data. The data creates the algorithms. The algorithms create the, uh, the apps. Mm. You understand me? So the, imagine them being able to control or make the whole entire black diaspora mad with a push mm. of a button. Imagine if they can control the way that we vote, the way that we spend money, the way that we treat each other with algorithms and data science. Mm. They can control what you eat, uh, what you see. They can curate experiences so when you go online, you see certain things from when you open your phone up to when you close it because they have data on you. Mm. You understand me? They can make us think things about each other that may not be true. You understand me? And that's just going into the age of AI. You understand me? A being the same numerical value as the one, I being numerical value of nine. The white man is an artificial man. So anytime he starts to run out of power, he has to figure out an artificial way to order to keep his power. So he creates an artificial intelligence. You understand me? That's that's who he is. He has artificial ingredients, artificial insemination. You understand me? This is the artificial man that we're dealing with. So looking at AI, it's not some tech revolution where we just want to see where the spark of humanity can go. It is about power and control. Mm. You understand me? So when we talk about getting ourselves free, why the hell will we want our former slave masters to have the type of power that can make us slaves forever? Mm. What, do you, what do you think artificial intelligence would think about racism? Do you think that it would have a biased opinion towards blacks? No, no. Do you I, think it would look it at it all as thinking. It would look at thing? it all as data. Um, racial consciousness is one of the lowest forms of observation. So I talk about observation because observation is important because in physics, the observer is the all-seeing eye. He's the one that can change the wave into a particle. Um, and so when you think about the observer having an effect on reality just based on being, just based on observation, it means that we can, we literally change things by observing them, mm -hmm. right? So once, if you can get black people to focus on particular things, then we change them because now we change, we, we have the ability based on our observations to manipulate that reality, utilizing our intellect, mm -hmm. They understand me? If we're not paying attention to it, we're not giving any energy to it, and it most likely is controlling us. Mm. So we have to look at what we're observing and be high observers. High observers have enough energy to recognize synchronicity. Synchronicity is recognizing the other, the meaning and otherwise meaningless things. Uh, artificial intelligence. Hold on, I want to go back to what was your original question? Um, do you think artificial intelligence will have a biased opinion? Oh, yeah. Opinion so, yeah, so I don't think that they're going to have a biased opinion toward black people. The only way that uh, an artificial intelligence could have a bias is based on how the algorithm was built into the bias, mm. based on the developer of the algorithm itself. 